Hello again. In today's video, we're going to be setting up a bouncy castle and giving it a good clean. Now, this time of year, we often get uh, castles that have been in storage for a couple of months. Castles are just starting to go out and some of them were going to be a bit damp because they've been sitting in storage in a garage or a shed <clears throat> and they get a bit damp and they're going to need to be cleaned before they go out. Now, you can get a lot of mould on these castles depending on how wet they are. So once you get that, you're going to have to give them a good clean obviously before they go out because the last thing you want is to be setting it up on a job and you haven't cleaned it and you're going to get the shock of your life the customer's going to see it particularly the kids and they're going to just say you know what well, kids are like they're just going to sort of uh, scream blue murder basically so what we're going to do is set this bouncy castle up i know it is wet because the shed it's been in has got a slight leak on it so we're going to have to get it set up give it a good clean right let's get to it Okay, right, now we've got it deflated, so I'm just going to have a quick look around it. Now, it's not too bad inside, it did go out at the weekend in a hall, so we did give it a good wipe down, but obviously I didn't give it a thorough going over, so we'll have a look on it. Not too bad, but there's bits of uh, mould forming on the top here. So you can see it up here, can't always see those bits when you're setting up on a job. But if it's on a yellow surface, it really shows up, so you can see bits around the top here. We pull down these panels. You can see there, there's mould spots on it. Now this material is quite sort of shiny and uh, it does kind of wipe down pretty easy. Easy to get it off, so that's what we're going to do. A little bit round there as well. Have a look round this side. But it doesn't look too bad inside, which is the main thing really. Uh, like I said, you can see a few mould spots forming on there and probably up these high levels, which I can't see very well from here. It's also a little bit damp. You can see some uh, bubbles blowing out of that. But we'll leave this on today, give it a good clean. But it's actually not too bad, considering. So we'll, we'll give that a going over, and then that should be all right. But the reason I'm doing it, it is out on hire this weekend. So obviously we don't want to be turning up without having checked it first. As I say, you don't want any shocks when you turn up on the job. Right, now, for this, we're going to need our cleaning agents. Now, what I use, a little bit of a, it's not lime scale, it's in a lime scale bottle. But it's actually just a, a cleaning agent, really, and it kind of gives it a... If there's a musty smell, if they've been uh, in storage for a while, it just kind of freshens them up a little bit. And also we've got this degreaser, so if there's any kind of uh, stains inside, that gets it off. Now I don't tend to use bleach too much, um, because for obvious reasons it could stain uh, people using the castle's clothes. Uh, even though you can sort of spray it and clean it all off. Uh, I'll only use it if the, if the castle's really covered in it. Uh, now if you look at the top of it, you can see some spots forming. So that's obviously where the drip was coming. You can see on there there's little black spots so we'll get it we'll get that we'll pull it down and we'll give that a good clean actually we'll probably get a ladder it might be easier to do it off a ladder uh, you can deflate these and then just do it while it's deflated but i'll do it while, while it's inflated rather than deflated so as i say there's a few of them forming here but we'll go over that and get it off like i said i don't normally lose bleach unless they're really really covered which you don't often get that much but they can do um, and then it will just need to be completely bleached and then uh, hose down but this time of year in kind of early march it's a bit hard to get them dried particularly if they're starting to go out so you want to just do a a kind of basic one really and then just sort of clean them keep them clean as you're going along which is what i tend to do anyway let's talk it's not going to do itself so let's get to it got me gloves i always wear me rubber gloves doing this you don't need to you can use your hands if you want but we we'll get a better grip on it now the bit i'm on about here i'll show you, you see on the top of that how bad that is, that's pretty, pretty mum. What we'll do is we'll get up there with a ladder. There's your ladder. As I say, you don't need a ladder, you can just deflate this and clean it as it's, uh, as it's deflating. It's just as easy to do, but I'm going to get up there with a ladder. And have a look. I'll take you up there and have a look as well. Okay, so you can see on top of it now, you can see the mould spots there now. It's quite bad on that particular column on top of it. You can't always see these, so even though you wipe these down on the job, you don't see it so it's always worth on the top of these uh, cross sections and the post will give that a good uh, clean down right now like i say it does clean up some castles don't clean up so well but this one does so i'm going to put some of this grease on it grease remover now this stuff here this grease you can get it from anywhere really i think it's lidl's this one 
comes out of. Uh, it's quite good. Uh, if there's any sort of sticky fingers from the kids playing on it, it gets it off pretty quickly. So when you pick your castle up, I always give them a spray down, give them a quick wipe, put it away, and then it's good to go next, the following week. So we've got an old towel here now. I'm just going to give it a bit wipe. See, so it's only been on there a couple of minutes, and you can see it's getting it off pretty, pretty easy. It's good stuff. It's not expensive either. It's only, um, I think, a couple of quid, two or three pound maybe. So it's uh, quite easy to get off. Some castles are harder than others. Now the ones that have a little grain in them, they're a bit harder to get in because it gets the mole can get ingrained in it, uh, and it's a little bit tricky getting it off. But it does come off with a bit of elbow with grease. As you can see, let's cover it, let's bring it off. It's good stuff that, like I said, it's not a uh, bleaching agent, so it's not really gonna cause too much damage. Again, I don't really like using bleach in case it stains, it stains the castle, uh, particularly if you've got a new one. So as you can see on the towel there, just bring it off pretty easy. And that's just putting it on lightly. A bit again on that crossbar. I probably would have to deflate this actually and uh, clean it up on the front. It's not too bad, so I can just uh, deflate it and give it a quick going over. It's going to be easier to do it off a ladder actually. But I think we'll do that. And what we'll do is we'll get up close. As you can see here, it does need a bit of cleaning. to do it while it's deflated trying to get a grip but sometimes it's the only way to do it on these higher points uh, anything on the side panels you can do while it's inflated a lot easier but it does clean up quite easy okay. that's pretty much it i'm going to inflate it again and any of these side columns that i think i've got any spots on or on the step i'm going to give it a going over and don't forget if you're finding this video helpful Please give it a like and subscribe and it will help grow the channel. A few little spots there but it's not too bad actually. Sometimes you will get some stubborn uh, mould stains that will be harder to get off and you may need bleach in that case. But uh, I try to avoid it properly. That's pretty much it really, it's not too bad. And there you have it, that's how you get the mould off. And there it is on the towel. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.